Welcome to Archaeoversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate, analyze and interpret total assets turnover ratio. To explain this ratio, I am using two real companies statement of profit and loss account. These two are power generating companies in India, also called as a power manufacturing companies in India. Total assets turnover ratio is calculated as total income upon total assets. So when I saying that the total income, the total income includes revenue from operations as well as other income. On the other side, total assets includes non-current assets and current assets. So I am using this equation that is a total income is defined as revenue from operations plus other income whereas the total assets this includes non-current assets as well as a current assets. Few prefer to uh, exclude other income and uh, other assets but I prefer this one because when you are talking about uh, total assets, total assets includes the assets that is the property, plant and equipment that the company owns. In addition to that it also includes the investment the company makes on which it earns interest. So that is the reason why I am considering the other income which is in, uh, uh, form, in the form of uh, interest and all. So uh, for this I choose two companies. Uh, the first one is G Power India Limited and uh, here is the statement of a profit and loss account for this company for the two financial uh, years that is for the year ended 31st March 2019 and 31st March 2020. So here the total income we have and this all this income is in rupees millions that means for the financial year uh, ending 31st March 2019 the company has 20,353.4 million as an income whereas for 2020 it has a 25,710 as a total income. The next is that we need to have a denominator for a denominator we use a balance sheet. So from a balance sheet we can find out the total of assets. So here if you look at the total assets the company has a total assets of 35,622 and 33,731. So these are the total assets. So using these two values we will calculate total assets turnover ratio. Our uh, total assets turnover ratio this equals to your uh, net income upon total assets. So we calculate this for the two financial years 2019 and 2020. First we take the net income. So your net income for 2019 is 20,353.4 million whereas for 2020 this is 25,710.8 million. So there is an increase in a net income. Then we need to have a total uh, assets. So total assets we get it from a balance sheet of a company. So here uh, 35,622.5, 35,622.5 for 2019 and uh, 33,731, 33,731.1 for 2020. So our ratio is total assets turnover ratio. This equals to 2353.4 upon 35,622.5 million. So this is 0.57 and this is denoted in times. The next is for 2020 this is 25710.8 upon 33,731.1. So 0.76. 76 times. So that means during the financial year 2019 the company was able to generate 50% of net income of its total assets. Whereas in 2020 the assets turnover is 0.76 that is a near about a 76% of the times. The reason for a low asset turnover of this is this is a capital intense company where the lot of amount is invested in the form of a property plant and equipment uh, then uh, if you observe here major contribution or major uh, investments here is your trade receivables. So the company that is that there is a high trade receivables of this uh, company for the GE Power Limited. The trade receivables is 13,226 million here and 9,793 million here. So because of high uh, trade receivables the company's uh, asset turnover ratio is low. Right. Similarly, we will calculate uh, another power generating company and we will see whether uh, 
this is same with uh, industry or it, it is uh, depending on uh, companies so here nlc this is a public sector company and here you, you look at the total income total income of the nlc is 9133 and this is in rupees crores and for the financial 2019 this is 8000 crore and now if you look at the balance sheet the total assets total assets is 39000 crore here and 34000 crore here so using these values we will calculate the uh, total assets turnover ratio so your total assets turnover ratio for 2019 and uh, 2020 now 2019 revenue is total income is 8000 59.27 whereas for 2020 this is 9133.28 and then total uh, assets 34682 34682.32 then uh, 39119 39119.09 so your total assets turnover ratio is equals to 8059.27 upon 34 682.34 so 0.23 0 0.23 very low assets turnover ratio and then for 2020 this is 9133.28 upon 39119.09 so 23 so for both the years the asset turnover ratio is the uh, same that means when you're comparing that both are a uh, public sector one is a public sector company and the other one is a private sector entity and uh, both are in power generation in india for one company we see that uh, the private sector one that is the ge power uh, the turnover ratios are 0 0.57 times and 0 0.76 times whereas on the other side <coughs> for a public sector company it is 0 0.23 times for uh, both the years now why this is one is that the revenue that the company generated is a very uh, less and on the other hand the investment into assets total assets is very high if you look at the pro property plant and equipment here this is a phenomenal investment in property plant and equipment that is 11,678 crore in 2019 whereas 18,000 crore in 2020 and then uh, uh, if you look at the receivables trade receivables also high but not as high as uh, compared with the uh, GE power limited but here in this case uh, because of high investment into property plant and equipment the company was not able to generate enough revenue and uh, because of which the total assets turnover ratio is very low this low total assets turnover ratio indicates that the company is not able to or not efficiently utilizing its total assets so you need to look into more uh, depth into it in the sense for that purpose you need to look at the property plant and equipment and uh, uh, notes related to property plant and equipment and where actually the investment lies and why the company is not able to uh, generate enough revenue from that, that much of uh, uh, assets so this uh, clearly indicates that the nlc the assets are now ratio of nlc is uh, 0.23 times it is hardly 23 percent of its total uh, uh, investment or total assets <coughs> So this is how you need to calculate, analyze and interpret total assets turnover ratio. And total assets turnover ratio will explain you the efficiency of company's ability to utilize its uh, assets. Thank you. Thank you very much.